Hello and welcome to another session of our Java tutorials. Today we are going to check how to reverse a word or a string in Java. So let's start by creating a method. We will call it um, reverse reverse word in string. All right, and we will pass some arguments of type string and call it my sentence and then open it up with curly braces and then we create an array that will store our string and then we call it let's call it a strg and then my sentence my sentence dot we use this method we call called uh, split and then space and then from here we uh, we use the for loop we say for int i equals to zero equals to zero and then as long as i is less than strg dot length and then increment i plus plus and then open it up and then use uh, sys out sys out and then strg and then i plus i here plus space all right i'll explain this later guys uh, so my sentence dot split let me copy this I mistyped here so let me put it over there and then from here guys we let's create a method so the first thing I want us to do is to print the input here on the console and the next we reverse the input and we get this output here all right so let's create an object of our class let's do this reverse string equals to new and then we use this object here to access our method dot reverse word in string and then this is the input let's put the input here all right and then let's run this we get our output so uh, actually I want this on the same line so I will not use print line I'll just use print so this is our input guys so now let's see how we can get our our output all right so first of all let's put a space we want our output here below this word here below the input so let's put another system dot out dot print line just below this to create a space so we put that one over there all right and then it will be print ln and then from there if we use another loop to reverse this uh, this sentence we say for so now we do the reverse instead of starting at zero we start at the the the, the length minus one so we say for int i equals to strg dot length minus minus one i'll explain this okay and then i is greater or equal to zero then you decrement i minus minus you decrement i and then open it up and then say sys out system dot out the print line i mean yeah we, ne we need print not print line and then we say strg and then we pass i here plus space okay and then let's print this and then explain 
so today is monday monday uh, so let's recap what we did here so as you can see on the first we had our input here and then we also had our output which is the reverse of this sentence so the first thing we did was to create this string array uh, which will hold our our my sentence our sentence which is today is monday and then it will be split by this delimiter which is a space and then the next uh, thing we did after that is to create this for loop uh, the, f the purpose of this for loop is to to print the original output so it will go through the uh, through the array and then it will check it will print position at position 0 it, which will be today and then it will print here and then it prints again position 1 and position 2 and then prints it to the console and then we use this uh, system dot out dot print line to create uh, the next line uh, so that we could uh, use another for loop and reverse the sentence so in the next uh, for loop we we change the logic so as you can see this one starts at position zero but this one is say uh, the length which is the which is this is zero one and two but uh, for the string it will let's see the length so we can try I mean, let's just try and see string dot length and run it is three so we have to subtract one because uh, this array holds um, two so this is zero one and then two that's why we had to subtract one here and then as long as i is greater or equal to zero then we want to decrement by one so in the first um, the f when it runs the first time it will print monday which is 3 minus 1 is Monday is at position 2. 3 minus 1 is position 2. And then it decrements, it prints, and then the next one will be at position 1. So 0, 1, it will be is, and then it will be printed on the console until i is greater or equal to 0. And this one is the method. Uh, so we separated the main method from our normal method because I wanted you guys to see like when you run a uh, Java code this is uh, the first this is executed first in a Java code so this is uh, created an object of our class and then use that object to call our method that's all you do guys um, thank you so much and if you have any questions you can put it in the comment section and we will go through it